Counter-terrorism policing officers also attended the scene immediately and they have worked through the night very closely with Thames Valley Police. And this morning I can formally confirm that this was declared a terrorist incident at 08.30 as a result of those investigations through the night. Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Poncho back at you again with another video. So for you guys who have seen my community tab post the other day, then you'll know that I did say that Cases Season 2, Episode 2 was dropping tonight, where we're going to be taking a look at a child who was obsessed with serial killers and stabbed one of his victims 102 times to death. But due to this Reading incident that had happened yesterday, which we are going to be taking a look at now, I've put it on hold, so expect Cases Season 2, Episode 2 to be out over the next couple of days. So with that being said, as the majority of you will know, an incident that took place yesterday in Reading which seen three people confirmed dead and multiple injured in hospital and it's now officially been declared as a terror related incident after there was speculation it had been a random attack and there was early reports that it was connected to the Black Lives Matter protests. So what we're going to do is from multiple news reports I'm going to put them all together so we can build up a picture of a timeline of events so it clears everything up for everyone. Now before I paint these timeline of events as I just said a minute ago there was in fact a Black Lives Matter protest that had taken place at Forbury Gardens but I just want to emphasize that the protests wasn't connected to the incident unlike how much of the mainstream media had originally reported on it and this is the reason I waited until today to do the video so I could get the clearest image of what happened so it clears it up for you guys. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to really quickly put out this video um, because I've had loads of people messaging me, loads of people calling me um, and messaging the Black Lives Matter Reading page. Um, as um, we know, we had a protest today at Fulbright Gardens. Um, we have heard that there has been an incident there uh, this evening um, and some people are injured, um, seriously injured. That's all I know. Um, I can't comment on the facts and what's going on and waiting to try and find out more from the police so we can put out a more official statement. Um, but one thing I do know is that it had nothing to do with the protests. They were very peaceful. We worked with the police liaisons the entire time and they actually commented on how um, peaceful and well done and well thought out the protest was today. Um, and yeah, how smoothly it all went. So I'm literally praying um, for the people that have been affected. Um, I hope they're okay. Uh, but I just want you guys to know that in terms of the protests and the people that attended from Black Lives Matter, we're all safe. None of us are affected. We had all left by the time this so taking a look at the poster for the protest it looked like it would have finished at around 5 p.m latest and only a few hours would go by and at around 7 p.m the suspect who has now been named as 25 year old Ka'iri Sadala who was in fact a Libyan asylum seeker had walked into the park armed with a knife and proceeded to walk up to different groups of people who had been scattered all over he then went on to stab them and horrifically murdered three of them. Lawrence War, a witness to the incident but had fled before he could attack him said the park was pretty full a lot of people sat around drinking with friends when one lone person walked through he suddenly started to shout something which i didn't understand and he went around a large group of around 10 and tried to stab them he stabbed three of them severely in the neck and under the arms and then turned and started to run towards me and we started to run away when he realized he couldn't catch us he tried to stab another group which was sitting down he got one person in the back of the neck and then when he realized everyone had started to run he ran out of the park another witness named dan had told the Sunday Mirror that the group of people who were attacked were just sitting in a circle chatting. He said he thought the people were playing Duck Duck Goose and for you guys who don't know what that is, it's a children's game at which these participants sit in a circle while someone taps them on their head. He went on to say he being the attacker was tapping them on the head then I thought someone had been sick but it was blood spraying out. A short while later reports are saying less than five minutes later after the incident had happened the suspect had been arrested by police. Jeez, bro. That's deep. You got fucked. Jeez, bro.
Talking about the arrest, a police source said a man pulled a knife and started attacking people at random in Reading near the Crown Court. It is thought there was one attacker who was surrendered to police. It appears the attack was stopped when a lone sergeant who responded when the alarm was raised ran to the scene, saw the attacker running away with a knife and rugby tackled him to the ground. Roughly 30 minutes later, footage which I won't be showing here had started circulating online but describing it, it shows absolute chaos and emergency workers which were actually more armed police than anything they had rushed to the scene in an attempt to try and save people's lives. So after the footage had circulated, there was back and forth online with police trying to label what kind of incident this was, but they did at first go on to say that they firmly believed that it was a random attack and it wasn't terror related. A short while after the suspect was arrested, police descended on a block of flats in the Basingstoke Road area, roughly two miles from where the attack had happened. And as the night grew, we then saw the presence of counter-terrorism police. No, that ain't, that ain't where they are.
which of course leads us up to the newest announcement and that is in fact that it has been classed as a terror incident more than likely due to police searching the property and finding things that would link him to a terror organization again guys this is a new story with developments literally every hour or so but at least this small timeline of events paints a clearer image for you guys on what took place yesterday evening leading up until today in Reading. So moving forward, one person is confirmed to have been discharged from hospital, two more are being treated in hospital, with three people announced dead, and I do want to send my condolences out to the families of these people who have been affected by the situation. But let me know what you guys think this in the comment section below, give the video a little like, and if you want the latest Drill Street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy Ape Poncho, and I'm out.